What's poppin'? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take that. That's cute. Uh, my name's Ash Miner. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, I moved to Los Angeles two months ago and I'm an acoustic soul artist. So my name's Elenice, I'm 22 years old and I currently live in Boca Raton, Florida. I've been singing since I was about 9 or 10 years old and I love music more than anything. I want this more than anything and it's what I'm passionate about, it's what makes me happy. Well, my name is Lex Liu. Um, I am a rapper, singer, songwriter out of LA and um, I've been doing my solo artistry for the last uh, four or five years. Um, it's amazing. Really happy, and then before that, I used to be a professional backup dancer for like a lot of people and a lot of cool things. So this is like being an artist is like starting all over again. I'm like it's so amazing. I'm an R&B pop recording artist. I'm from Los Angeles. I've been doing this for so long now, and I'm just ready to get out there and show what I can do. I look up to a lot of older artists like Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway. Those are all my favorite artists. I just love everyone. <laughs> so I really love Christina Aguilera. I really love Beyonce. I'm into Amy Winehouse a lot. Um, yeah, I love female artists that are empowering and inspiring. And I don't know, I'm really inspired by those three people. So, so I am heavily influenced by Missy Elliott. Um, Gwen Stefani, uh, Left Eye, so TLC, that, their the whole group. Um, then like Kendrick Lamar, um, I'm a huge Janis Joplin fan, um, like Sneaker Pimp, just like a lot of like, random but amazing artists, but yeah. My music is like a hybrid between um, acoustic, um, soul, funk, blues, pop. It's, it's really, it's a massive fusion. I've got a lot of musical influences, ranging a lot of different genres and styles. Um, I love rock music, but I very, very much connect with soul music and R&B. So it, it, it falls somewhere in between, in between the two. If you listen to my music, it's a little bit of everything. Like, yes, I rap, but I also sing, and I have like pop songs and hip hop songs and rock songs and emo songs and punk songs. I'm all, all over the place, but um, like my, favorite thing to do is rap, like I can write some really dope lyrics, you know. The worst thing would be is if, if I took someone's song and they saw it and were like, nah. <laughs> so that's my biggest nerve. I'm not really so nervous about the performance aspect. I just want to make sure every song that I do does, does justice to the song and pays, you know, respect to the artist too. I'm probably most nervous about just being in front of people who have so much experience in the industry and really wanting to impress them. <sighs> I'm just nervous about keeping my seat because everybody is so amazing. This is not like the typical show. Everybody is on their A-game. For reality television, it's really easy to be kind of like molded into something you're not. For me, it's like the biggest thing is like staying true to myself. Um, and that's like the scariest thing that I'm, you know, I'm like nervous about it's just like not being able to be myself, you know? My strategy is just to do the best that I can and just sing to the best of my ability and try to give a great performance. My strategy is like being the best me I can, you know? I am a rapper, I'm, so I'm a little bit different from the other for. Um, as a female rapper, you know, I'm going to be challenged a lot by, I'm pretty sure, a lot of amazing MCs. And like, I think the thing that I just have to focus on the most is like smashing every MC bar for bar. And then not only that, but with killing my performances. My strategy is to just try to do the best I can and not overwhelm myself with the thought of how like big this situation is and big this opportunity is. I'm trying to just, you know, as, as cliche as it sounds, just like relax and, and not psych myself out. Um, I think what'll make me stand out is probably just my worth ethic and I'll, I'll work as hard as I can to get what I want. Uh, my strategy um, coming into this show has always just been to not look right or left, just keep looking straight and do my own thing, run my own race. 
and every single week just try and up my game and give another element of, of my performance that people haven't seen before. Wow, winning this show would definitely be, I mean, the most amazing thing I've ever done in my whole life and it would open so many doors for me. And, you know, being an On The Verge artist, it would basically, I mean, guarantee me anything I, I've ever wanted in this industry. I'd get radio play and there's a lot of um, On The Verge artists that have exploded from this. So, so yeah, winning would definitely change my life. To win the four will be amazing because I get to work with the panelists. All of them are so amazing and you get to become the iHeartRadio on the Verge artist. Get that radio play is what all artists need in this time in the industry. So it will be a dream come true. Oh wow. Yeah, to win the four, that would be a dream come true and you know get to work with iHeart and be one of the on the verge artists. Just especially being here today and seeing the platform that all these artists have had and how elevated their careers have gotten from partnering with, with iHeartRadio. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It puts it all in, in perspective, really, and makes you realize the magnitude of this whole opportunity, so. Okay, so if I won the four, you know, I think it'll be pretty epic because I've been working so hard, you know, trying to come out um, and present myself to the world as like this independent, like, you know, powerhouse rapper, you know, pop star thing, and it's like, it's really difficult. So I think that given the platform that you know, Fox has, The Four has, that iHeartRadio has, it just be amazing, you know? As an independent artist, it's like a dream come true because you don't, you can't like, you almost can't even buy that, you know? It's, it's really difficult, you know, when you do everything yourself. So the platform that, if I win, would just be like pretty epic, you know? I'm like really excited because I'm gonna go hard this whole season. Who are The Four? Find out this January on Fox.